Hi, and welcome to Top Solid 7. In this video, we're going to take a look at how simple it is to design a four axis style feature into a cylindrical part. I guess to get started with, we need a cylinder. So let's not waste any more time. Let's go to the Shape tab, go right here, we'll go to Cylinder, and let's just describe something uh, reasonable in size. We'll say it's six inches in diameter and maybe eight inches tall, centered about zero. Okay? It doesn't really matter if it's centered or not. In this case, I'm going to make mine centered and see what happens. Now, from here, we're going to go to the 3D Sketch pull-down menu, and we're going to go to Operations, and we're going to choose Roll-Up Wizard to begin with. And we're going to unroll this face. Now, if we unroll that face, we can do it based on the face information itself, and then we can hit the green check mark. Once we do that, you'll notice that there is an unrolled face, which is kind of cool. Now you'll notice that we let you go up to 270 degrees in one direction and the other direction. You can go beyond that. This is just reference for you. Okay? The width is the width of the feature, and then you can go vertically up to 360 degrees all you want. Now in this case, for example, I'm just going to create a simple feature. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to make a little rectangle. Oh, we'll do it right here. Why not? And we'll go from here to here. That's centered that way. And just to point something out to you, if I had a dimension from here to here, notice that's an angular dimension. Because again, we're dealing around the radius of something. So we want 45 divided by 2, for example. Perfect. And away we go. Maybe here we want to delete that. And we also want this to be that 22 and a half. Cool. Let's go ahead and also put a fillet in right away. We'll say a half inch fillet everywhere there's a sharp corner. Like that, I'm going to hit unroll, and now we have our rolled up feature. Now, how do we affect the solid model with that? Well, here I'm going to show you a neat little surfacing trick. So I'm going to go to my surface option, and I'm going to go to, pardon me, to my faces command. And I'm going to select this face, untrim, just so we can see it a little easier. So we have an untrimmed copy of that surface, and why don't we go to our Entities tree, turn off what we don't need right now, just to, again, keep it easy to understand what's going on on the screen. So we have a rolled up cylinder, and a rolled up curve on the cylinder, and we have a cylindrical surface. From here, I'm going to trim by profile, making sure to choose the cylindrical shape, be an imprint, and choose my profile. And I want to get rid of what's outside of this, for example, Click OK. Now we have our rolled up cylindrical surface, which is perfect. And now I'm going to go to my Shape tab, and I'm going to go to the Thicken command right here. Now here, I'm going to thicken this in two directions. Okay? We can either do a symmetric thickness like this, or we can invert the thickness and add a second thickness for you know a little bit. I always like to have a little bit more because we're going to use this as a as a subtraction tool, in fact. So I'm going to say that my pocket's going to be a half inch deep. If you notice, we have a nice little conical fillet forming right there. That's fabulous. Now let's go turn on our original shape. And now let's go do a Boolean. Here we just want to subtract from the original shape this shape. We'll click OK. And like that, we can also turn off our sketch. And we now have our four axis feature. Pretty awesome, actually. Um, if you want to double check a few things, we can always go to the visual, uh, pardon me, to the analysis tab and go here to analyze face type, select the model, green check. What you want to look for is you want to make sure that this bottom face is cylindrical. Again, maybe you don't care, you're only designing it in top solid, but if you're also machining in top solid and you happen to make that face as a cylindrical face, then when you go into machining, you can just select the face with end milling turn on multi-axis, and you should be able to machine the pocket without any difficulties whatsoever. I hope this little tutorial is found to be useful. Check back soon for more.